this point, we've all shopped from Shein or are at least looking into buying some of their cheap clothing items. The clothes they sell are nice and for some reason always seem to be up to date with the trends. Somehow you can always find whatever it is that you're looking for in their store. And with their pop-up stores opening up everywhere and influencers who are sponsored by the brand, it seems like Shein is finally a trustworthy brand. So now that $5 tank top must be worth buying, right? So what's the real problem with Shein? Why is it necessary to expose the brand? Also, why should you care? First, we need to talk about how Shein started and the reputation they had at first. When Shein was gaining popularity in the late 2010s, people wondered whether it was a trustworthy clothing store or not, and reviews would vary. There were still, and still are, a bunch of Shein hauls questioning their legitimacy because the clothes they offer are unbelievably cheap and, well, too good to be true. Over time, more and more people began gaining interest in Shein and their clothes. The problems concerning the company were all over the internet. Buyers would complain about all types of problems, including packages never arriving, missing items, or low-quality products. Eventually, Shein started to be known as a store where everything was a hit or miss and it was the price to pay for the cheap clothes you bought. This is still a problem and they still deliver clothes of questionable quality that sometimes never looks like the original picture with inexplicable shipping delays, but they're more problematic than that. Shein is an unethical company that has somehow managed to hide a lot of their production practices and profit off of stealing styles of other small businesses. They pay no attention to the products displayed on their website and end up being called out for insensitive and ignorant products very often. The point of this video is to discuss the problematic aspects of fast fashion as a whole while focusing on one of the most popular fast fashion stores out today, Shein. Look, I get it. Their clothes are cheap cute and trendy and we've all been there but at some point it's important to think about what those cute clothes do to the environment it's hard to know what every clothing company does to affect the environment but Shein is zero percent transparent and with the speed at which they take out new styles the number of different items that they have on their websites and the attractively low prices of the items there are most definitely unethical environmental practices going on there. Shein is a fast fashion company, which means they take out products quickly and inexpensively. It's obvious that the fast fashion companies contribute to increased pollution, and this isn't just Shein. Other companies like Romwe and Zaffo are also in the same category. These companies release an excessive amount of greenhouse gases and pump out resources such as energy and water just to keep their machines going. Also, Shein has warehouses located in China, so the labor laws that are in the US per se do not affect them, meaning that we know nothing about the wages or the unfair work environment that people designing the clothes might be enduring. Shein has been called out countless number of times because of the disrespectful things they have released. It's obvious this video is not going to change anything, but yeah. In late 2020, they released mats under the category of decorative rugs. The main issue with this release is the fact that they used Muslim prayer mats, which is a complete disrespect to the Islamic religion. Not long after that, they released these necklaces. It's literally a sweat sticker symbol. Shein's PR team offered an apology, claiming it was a mistake. <sighs> a mistake. A huge international company participating in Paris Fashion Weeks does not have someone on their team who knows what a prayer mat is or the meaning behind a swat sticker symbol. Okay. This just further proves that their company does not care about what they produce, only the profit they make out of it. In fact, recently, someone else called out Shein for selling extremely insensitive phone cases, and the response was admitting that they stole the design and claiming that it was to show support for the Black Lives Matter movement. How is that support though? Just how? Now, Shein has been problematic and will keep being problematic, Shin was able to attract buyers because it offered something that other clothing companies refused to do. They finally offered plus size clothes that were trendy and cheap and it was very inclusive of them, which is why it's hard to completely abandon Shein. They did something new and super inclusive and great. But do the pros really outweigh the cons? Shein is an unethical company that rips off artists and cares very little about what they put on their website until they're under fire for it. As long as they keep making money, they'll keep doing what they do and take out meaningless apologies once in a while as they're never actually held accountable.
So, why should you care? Fast fashion is a term you might have heard here and there, but never paid much attention to it because the name in itself doesn't sound alarming. But the fact of the matter is, this is the most dangerous kind of issue because it doesn't affect the general public on a day-to-day -day basis until the problem becomes unavoidable because it's irreversible. Fast fashion is causing devastating damages to the planet in several ways. Here are a few examples, excessive water usage and pollution, microfibers pollution, greenhouse gas emissions and air pollution, deforestation, and human rights to name a few. This isn't a new thing, it's a vicious cycle that's only getting worse. Once upon a time, stores like Zara, Forever 21, and H&M were seen as extremely cheap and were the first ones to get labeled as fast fashion. Doc's Consulting reports that in 2020, Shein launched 150,000 new items throughout the year, with an average of over 10,000 new items per month. It caught up with Zara's annual new product volume in just under two months, and the speed is still accelerating. In March of 2021, Shein's women clothing category alone had an average of 2,000 new products per day. So the problem with this cycle is that clothes feel more disposable than they would if you spent a higher price on them. The clothes are so cheap that instead of fixing the item, it makes more sense to toss it out and get something new because one, it's cheap material and two, it's going out of trend soon anyway. The fast fashion industry is also destroying the entire concept of thrift shopping because the kind of clothes they produce usually can't be donated after they're done with and this results from planned obsolescence of their products. Take iPhones for example. In today's world, it's completely normal to replace your iPhone yearly even though nothing's wrong with it just because a new one is out. And this is all due to our attention spams getting shorter. It usually takes me time to notice or really appreciate a new trend and honestly by the time I jump on it it's never too long before something new comes in and that's not cool anymore. We just don't enjoy clothes the way we used to before. In one decade we went from calling Y2K's aesthetic hideous to already following those trends again. In the 2000s decade we went through an 80s inspired fashion era, a 90s inspired fashion era and we're already back to a 2000s fashion era. The fact that there are no longer any traces of what we wore between 2017 and 2018 should be an indication of how quickly things are moving. Seriously, just look at your wish list from two years ago and tell me you're not repulsed by what's in there. And it sounds normal, but when you think about it, it really isn't. Even in a global pandemic where people were supposed to be stuck at home, the fashion trends still changed rapidly. This isn't the general public's fault though. You don't have to leave your house to be tempted anymore. The shop is right at your fingers and it's hard to ignore. When you're getting notifications on your phone that there's this huge sale, you're probably going to look at it. Not just that, but the fashion industry has been completely neglectful of plus-sized people who often have to resort to overpaying for very basic items. Long story short, the fast fashion industry only cares about money and has crafted the perfect cycle to keep it going. Selling cheaper clothes as their prices fall, so does the quality because of planned obsolescence. While the prices are dropping, fashion trends are accelerating and this creates an incentive for people to buy more clothes to keep up with the trends. Here's the deal. This isn't some black and white situation where you're bad because you buy from Shein or vice versa. This is just the result of an already flawed fashion industry that has only and always catered to the needs of the rich and the pretty. Companies like Shein simply saw an opportunity to come in and provide what those other companies couldn't do in the past. This video isn't made to demonize anyone who purchases from fast fashion companies. The intent is simply to discuss the diverging ways in which faraway companies such as Shein may be affecting our lives without our knowledge. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and also don't hesitate to leave your thoughts down below.